One of our deceivers was once charged with a felony. You can tell us who you think it is by voting along what? in the chat. Let's find out who's telling the truth and who is a chub. God damn it, Cole. <laughs> I didn't realize we were playing with a criminal. A criminal? <laughs> God. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Chump, everybody. The Rooster Teeth Game Show, all about lying and deception. I'm your host, Jeremy Dooley, and this episode is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Why don't you have a VPN yet? Protect your online security today by heading to expressvpn.com slash chump. And now it's time to introduce our deceivers for today's episode, starting with deceiver number one, Cole Galleon. What kind of show are you running here? <laughs> Criminals sorry, left and right? right. It'll what if be the criminal okay. is you? Deceiver number what two. Hannah, we're a long way from introducing you still. <laughs> what number you Hannah, Hannah, it's my time. <laughs> Sorry, Sean Ross. It's our time down Hello. here. <laughs> Hello, uh, in Texas, Phil and Peachy. How's it going? And Doing Deceiver, great. Our special guest, Deceiver number three from such shows as Let's Make a Deal and Who's Lines. And anyway, it's Jonathan Mangum. <laughs> Hello. <Hey. laughs> Hell yes. And uh, of course, we needed to bring in a very, very great contestant to sort the lies from the truth. And uh, that is going to be Hannah McCarthy for today's episode. Very <laughs> great meaning. I'm always like, don't lie to me. And every time you're like, that's the point of the show. It is. I mean, it, I like that it's, I like that you still have the audacity to be hurt by it. I was like, how could you do this to me every time? And every time they're like, that's literally the point. Of the show. If it helps Hannah, I've I only know. ever lied to you. Oh, God. I love how Hannah's okay. like subtly flexing on us. She's got a murder she wrote in a Who Done It board game I behind do. her. Flex like, oh, I'm a mystery solver. Wow, that's right, classic board game. I've been mm. training for this my whole life. We did it all together. So, uh, yes, welcome to the show, Jonathan. Thanks for coming on, dude. Hey. I am so excited. I've been following Rooster Teeth forever, and now I get to be on one of the shows. Mm. This is great. I'm excited. Is, I get to lie to people. That's a good Yay. <laughs> that's <exciting. laughs> Yeah, we're having literally one of the legends of improv uh, yes. lie to Hannah yeah. and see if Hannah I'm can, gonna, can yeah. put it out. I can't even tell when my own friends are lying to me. People I know very well. <laughs> I'm doomed. I'm doomed. It is, uh, it's certainly going to be an interesting one. And yes, audience, you are, of course, playing along as well. The game's not about winning. It's about not losing so that you're not the chump at the end of it. And audience, there is a new voting system we implemented a little bit ago. There's buttons that will uh -oh. pop up as long as you're watching uh, online on the site uh, on a computer. Little buttons will pop up. You can just click those. If you're on mobile, you actually still have to write in the chat. Hashtag one, hashtag two, or hashtag three respectively one is cole two is carrie three is jonathan and that's how you vote he oh, mobile. number one I'll plug the chat with them if you're not on mobile there's nice buttons you can click all right let's get into it with our first game which is called what's in your house what's in your house what's in your house that's that oh, is the jingle. new theme right there wow that, it, uh this game our three deceivers will be describing a bizarre item that they have in their house. However, only one of them is describing a real item. The other two are making up bizarre items that don't actually exist. Hannah is going to question each of them up to my discretion. I'll tell her when to move on to the next person and then try to guess by the end of the game who has the actual item. So before we get into the game, let's hear a one sentence description of these bizarre items. Starting with Cole. Cole, what is in your house? In my house, I hold the Furb Lord. The Furb Lord. All right. The Furb Lord, the Furb Lord is uh, okay. that's going to take some questions. I can think of a couple. Mm -hmm. Yep. All can right. I ask him um, questions about that? <laughs> yeah, we all have questions. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please, one question at a time. Carrie, what is in your house? I have a knockoff Captain American themed Pikachu figure. A knockoff Captain America themed Pikachu. And Couldn't get Jonathan, your hands on the original, huh? What is in your house? I, in my house, have what is best described as an electric child punishment device. An electric child punishment device. That's the, that's the most simple way to describe it. <laughs> I love that that's the simple way. Like, people would go, yeah. oh, okay, got it. I understand. Um, all right. So, uh, audience, you can vote along. Let us know who you think has the actual item. But you might want to hear the questions first. So, let's get into it. Hannah, who do you want to question first? 
I I feel like I need to know about the fur lord. Just there's so everyone many. Knows. We all have I questions. Think everyone everyone needs to know about the fur lord. I'm glad you asked. Yeah, yeah. All I right, need to no know. There's no timer on this one. So whenever you're ready, go for it. Okay, Cole. Um, is the fur lord, uh, as we all would suspect, some sort of Furby? Yes. Okay. Um, in what capacity is it? Uh, is it? How is it? How does it look? Is it, does it have a crown? Why is it a fur lord? It's uh, longer than the average, average furby. It's got arms. It oh has a hat. God. Yeah, it has a hat. Why? Why? Okay. Why, uh, how, how, I'm sorry. How many arms are there? <coughs> Two. Longer than average. Okay. Has arms. What color is it? Purple. That was a moment of hesitation that makes me uh, hesitate myself. Mm. Um, purple, you said. Um, mm -hmm. Where did you acquire this fur lord from? Well, he started <laughs> as a regular Furby, and he became the oh. fur lord. Okay, so you're claiming this happened just of its own volition overnight? Mm, no, there was uh, outside intervention. From whom? My brother. He dropped him down the stairs. <laughs> Cole, I... Are you are you all right? Or is the fur lord holding you against your will? Like, oh, you yes, right? yes. The fur lord knows okay. all, controls all, sees all. He okay. lost his eyelids in the, in okay. the fall. Uh, he lost Hannah, his I'm eyelids. Gonna... Okay. Oh, he lost his eyelids. Okay, so it's a, it. a longer than average Furby drop down the stairs, purple, no eyelids. Arms, Good. no nice eyelids. Cleared up. God. Cole, did you subscribe your sleep paralysis demon? <laughs> it really was. He, he <laughs> prevents the... Please, the fur lord... Saves me from the sleep paralysis demon. I'm Here. sorry. Yes, the fur lord. Hannah, please. Mr. Fur you. Who's next? Uh, I would like to know about this electric child punishment device. We all would. <laughs> would you? I think we really all would. I, I mean, I'm scared. All right. but yes. Hannah, okay. whenever you're ready, go for it. Uh, first and foremost, uh, why do you have it? Uh, I was on a USO tour uh, in we were stopped in Macedonia and I walked into a shop and this thing was for sale and I asked what it was and they described it the best they could. And so I bought that shit immediately. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How, what, what, um, in what way you said it's an electric child punishment device. What is the general shape of it? It is a, it's a flat base. It has two metal rods that poke up and you, okay. you grab onto it with your hands. If you're the child who was bad. And fly mail base, you grab it. And do you, does it, how does it deliver the electrocution to the child? Uh, there, is a, there, is, there is a button that you press uh, and it, uh, there's a nine volt battery that powers it. So it's not like you're getting full 220 AC sure. in your sweet little kid's sure, arm, but it, sure. it, does, it does hurt in a European way that I can't describe. It's not something I can learn. So the child, do they, does the child have to elect to sit and hold it and be shocked? I, I think it's, you were bad. Or, or, you I don't know, know what a Macedonian next would be. You were bad to sit now, hold. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know better. Awesome. Okay. And, and about, you said, I know the shape now. Generally, how large is it? Uh, it's about the size of a little, little dish. And the two things are dish. about, you know, four inches and they're metallic. Okay. Mm. That's frightening. Um, yeah. but, uh, do <laughs> you have it purely gonna... for display? Sorry. Sorry, Jeremy. No, you can do, you go for it. I'll let you ask that last question. Go ahead. Have you, is it purely for display or have you put it to use? Either on I would never. Or I have two kids. I would never put it to use on them. Okay. But I have like invited friends over at poker night and made them hang on to it while I shock them. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's what I do. All right. Use on friends. Noted. <laughs> All right. There's okay. the questioning for Jonathan, and uh, I love that of just hearing the one sentence description of it, being like, "Add it to my cart. I'm in." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I totally Sounds get good. that. Um, I love the right. European so pe European way. European way. Yeah. Listen, if you get shocked for long enough, European eventually. Uh, <laughs> all right. Macedonian uh, children are the best uh, behaved in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Gary, gosh. With the uh, Captain America Pikachu is all that is left. Uh, yes. Hannah, whenever you're ready, begin your questioning. Okay, Carrie, uh, what hello. size is the, hello? <laughs> what size is this Pikachu of yours? Uh, it's pretty small, like a, you know, 
inch and a half, two inches. I don't know. It's pretty, Yay pretty big. Tiny. Okay. Yeah. Um, you said it's knockoff. Where did you acquire it from? So I was given a different gift uh, and sent along with that gift was this just like kind of like thrown in. Um, so I call it knockoff because uh, it, w it was I, it was not purchased by anyone. It was just kind of transferred to me. Okay. So you're just uncertain of if it's licensed or not. Uh, I'm almost, I can almost guarantee that it's not licensed, um, but I'm, I'm certainly uncertain. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about him is, is Captain America themed in nature? Is he colored? Well, like Captain he's got America? the little hat Okay. and he's got the shield. He does have Thor's hammer spoiler. Um, and I don't know if it's intentional oh. or not, but his tail is gone. And it just kind of, he's got a weird butt. He, no, is the best how, way I can describe it. I don't know if I want to ask why his butt is weird. Is it just purely because of the absence of the tail? Yeah, I, I mean, I have never seen a Pikachu butt without a tail, uh, but it looks <laughs> abnormal outside of that as well. I mean, no. it, it almost looks like uh, it was pinched permanently. <laughs> he's got a little, he's, okay. it looks like somebody went and it stuck. Okay. It was not me. I, just I would hope not. I, would, I, I don't have that kind of, of strength. Uh, it's is plastic. It made out of? Plastic. Uh, ABS, okay. whatever, uh, whatever that kind of plastic. stuff is, you know. Okay. Uh, Got question. It. Go for it. What Last question. Um, since you said it's so small, where yes. do you generally keep it? Is it somewhere on display? Uh, where does it go? Oh no! Uh, I it's on a bookshelf no. behind books because I don't want people to see it, but I just don't want to throw it away also you're you're ashamed of it very much so okay okay, okay. all Couldn't right there we go. got it just wow shame. all right Hannah, that you is a lot all about that your, uh, but... questioning <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> he's looked at that butt a lot he was, he was focusing <laughs> on that butt <laughs> oh, that look. butt that butt was i know he he does not have america's ass let's just put it that way got it oh. uh, yeah you had to check you to check. Okay. Audience, get your votes in now. It's your last chance to get them in before we lock in your answers. Uh, Cole, I'm going to have to ask you to stay out of chat and convincing them in the chat. Uh, I can oh, we can do that? that. <laughs> I can see Cole I said, Don't talking me to them and saying, for you. <laughs> and saying uh, things along the line of, please don't vote for me and fur lord for life. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask <laughs> Somebody, you else that. Somebody else said that. <laughs> uh hannah before we get your final answer is uh how are you feeling after that questioning um for answers? for cole's sake i hope he's lying because i if not we may have to intervene on his behalf um yeah. so i really hope cole is lying to me um I, i'm definitely leaning between scary and 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 john I, my concern is he does know a lot about that but carrie knows a lot about that but my notes literally say no tail, abnormal, but plastic, um, very detailed. So he did seem to know I a lot of that. descriptions of me. Kim Kardashian too. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So, <laughs> yeah. true. I have a little um, book. Yeah. You're both, you were both very, very specific. You had a lot of key details about mm -hmm. the size, the way it's used. Um, even the, the specifics of like the, butt, the USO tour, um, I just am, it's, it's, I'm really torn. I'm really torn. All right. Um, well, before we get your final answer on this, like uh, audience, we are locking in your answer. You are locked in for game number one. <laughs> Thank you very much for playing. Uh, yeah, we don't have a cool sound effect for them. Uh, but for Hannah, just, we will. So, Hannah, who has the actual item? I, I think it's Carrie with the knockoff, maybe knockoff Pikachu. I think. Do you want to lock that in? I would like to lock it in purely because I hope it exists and I want to see that weird pinched butt. All right, let's lock in the pinched butt of Carrie Shawcross. Pinched All right. Butt. Well, okay. <laughs> that is locked in. Everyone, tell your friend Carrie has yeah, a pinched okay. butt. It's locked in. <laughs> Am I in middle school? What's happening right now? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, that's what Rooster Teeth's like. The never ending middle school. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, let's see if the uh, tally is done. What did the audience vote for this game? I saw the poll just end a little bit ago. And there we go. Oh, oh, Jonathan, 46% believe oh, it is no. the child. Uh -oh. Oh, right. Cole. Cole, not great, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, 
Ooh, all right. Oh, no. And, uh, My favorite. Rather than me reveal it, I'm just going to count down from three and say reveal. And uh, the person who actually has the item will hold the item up. So uh, the real item in three, two, one, reveal. <gasps> Pikachu button! Tiny focus. There it is! <laughs> oh. Turn it around. Ta -da. Oh, no. Pikachu, my son, what happened to you? Right? He's oh, Just purely gosh. no butt. That's you like know, Canada's wow. ass. <laughs> <laughs> no oh, offense no, to Canada. No, poor Canada. But, uh, you know, and that means, uh, so Hannah, you got it right. Audience got it wrong, which means one point goes to the contestant and one point goes to the deceivers nice. for fooling the audience. So, Jonathan, that device <laughs> that you were talking about, too. You know, I had an arcade um, in in Hampton Beach, New Hampshire. There was an arcade with a device just like that. We had to hold these two <laughs> metal devices, and it would increasingly what? shock you, and you had to see how long you could do it. Yeah, it was like one of those test your strength things. Lies, the, the best lies of our truth mixed with lies. Mm -hmm. And so what I have... Mm -hmm. <gasps> uh oh Oh. This is an actual toy, and <gasps> yes, I've four seen people that toy. grab onto it, and when the music yeah. stops, you what? press the button, and the last person gets shocked, and it hurts like hell. It does. Oh, <laughs> my no. gosh. We absolutely it's, used it's, to have one of those at the office. This episode of Chump is brought to you by World of Tanks. Big shout out to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video as part of our New Year's Tank Mania. As you guys probably saw right before Christmas, World of Tanks sent Jack and Lindsay off to get in a real T-127 tank and blow up some items from the Achievement Hunter office that you all voted on. And yes, I am extremely jealous. It was an awesome video. Go check it out. World of Tanks is a free-to-play MMO with a huge arsenal of tanks to choose from, allowing you to tailor your gameplay to any playstyle you want. In addition to being free-to-play, it's free to win meaning skills win battles, as it should be. Be sure to show us your favorite tank or winning play on Twitter using the hashtag TankMania. Rush in guns blazing, ambush your opponents with sneaky tactics, or hang back and take them out from afar. With over uh, 550, I almost said 5,500, that's a lot, 550 tanks, 40 battle arenas, and over 100 million players, there's always a new way to play. Get in on the action yourself by clicking the link in the description down below and using the code TANKMANIA to get 7 days of premium access, 250,000 credits, and a premium tank called the Excelsior. But wait, there's more! Insert Billy Mays style voice. It's not called Tank Mania for nothing. In addition to all of that, you'll also get three rental tanks for 10 battles each, including the Tiger 131, Cromwell B, T3485M. I hope I'm saying those correctly. Uh, but yeah, three tanks, 10 battles each that you can try those out and see if they're the right tank for you. This code is only for new players who register for the first time on the Wargaming portal using the link below. Again, that's Tank Mania for seven days of premium content, 250,000 free credits, and a boatload of tanks. So that's got to be a big boat. Go now. All lies are based in truth. I do have a Furby that we recreated that was dropped downstairs and lost its eyelids and mouth and all of its feces, uh, all of its features, but still talk to us. The thing with yours is you said you dropped it down the stairs, but it got longer. That, we attached that, more. Yeah, he we never attached more to it. We didn't make it longer. We, we sewed more onto him and made it longer. There, I've seen a long Furby before. I have yeah, there are well, long, long Furbies. Are a thing. That was, I was um, like, if he had just said, "I have an elongated Furby," I would have believed him. But the like missing eyelids and the created overnight. All that's I, true. All that's true. It is missing its eyelids. It dropped down the stairs. It still talks to us with its missing eyelids. <laughs> the oh, wonky you know? help. That round. Yes, help. Uh, <laughs> Do we need to get you out of there? <laughs> ask, please. Oh, for <laughs> Yeah. All right, it's time to move on to our next. A lot of points are uh, up for grabs in this next game, though. Uh, two points for every team here are up for grabs as we move into our stable game, pushing the envelope. In this game, I have three envelopes. Each contains a true fact about our deceivers. I'm going to shuffle them up and redistribute them so they might get their own fact. They might get someone else's. Hannah is going to question each of them for 60 seconds about the fact they received. 
Uh, if it's their fact, they're telling the truth. If it's someone else's fact, they're lying and pretending that that fact is about them. And we're going to start with Cole. Cole Elliott was once charged with a felony. I was the criminal all along. You didn't believe it. <laughs> Sneaky boy. Oh, my God. Okay. Carrie Shawcross discovered an abandoned building full of homeless people. Discovered oh. an abandoned building. And Jonathan Mangum once sang karaoke with an escort. <gasps> All right, those are nice. your three stories. Uh, you're going to have 60... Oh, and uh, for the audience, because you work a bit differently in this game, you are voting on who was charged with a felony. Cole is claiming that this story is about him. Uh, you'll know better after you hear him speak. But who do you really think it was about? Was it Cole? Was this it Carrie? is the cool, guy right okay. this is the cool guy right here. Okay. The cool yeah. guy. Felonies aren't cool, Cole. Uh, Says you, you know. nerd. <laughs> I am a nerd. I'm a massive nerd. Um, Anna, who would you like to start with? Uh, Cole's very adamant about his criminal record, so I think we start with Cole. All right. Starting with Cole, charged with a felony. Um, audience, that you're going to want to pay extra attention to this one to help influence your vote. You have 60 seconds on the clock to question about this. Ready, get set, Go. God, I wish I knew about more about crimes. Okay, cool. What was your felony? What was the charge for? Uh, having a weapon on school property. What was the weapon? It was a knife. Why did you have it, Cole? Because I didn't think I'd get caught. That's not a good enough answer. What did, What was the intent but the knife? I just had a knife on me. You just you have a pocket knife. You have you so carry like it with opening you. Opening boxes and and yeah, whatnot. Yeah. Okay, yeah. how 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 was the knife discovered? How did you get in trouble? They they searched me. Uh, they, I got what in trouble because we were on the school roof. My friend uh, <laughs> thought he found a good Valentine spot and was wanting to show me, and so we went to the school after hours. And he was like in the drama club and knew to go through the drama room to get to the roof because they had like a ladder up there for maintenance. And so okay. we went up there, and the security guard saw us, found me. My friend was underage. I was eighteen, and so they're like, "Oh, will you have a weapon on school property?" Okay, there's so many that details right at the end. That was a lot. Also, there like, so many that details got weirder the, the more As he spoke. Was... Yeah, that spiraled <laughs> a little bit toward the end there. <laughs> I wanted to give the information because unless you were going to know, you'd be like, this doesn't seem real. Can we point out there was a sentence in there that said, a my friend found a good spot for Valentine's? For Valentine's. Is that what is that? Yeah, yes, he wanted to have a, he, he was like wanting to find a Valentine's yeah. spot on the roof. He's like, oh, this would be a good spot to take my girlfriend on a date. What do you think? And I was like, oh, I'll go. I'll go check it out. On you a school good roof? Places. Yeah. Like, wait, That's a good Valentine's memory. Valentine's spots? Is that what you call them? A good place to take a date? <laughs> like a picnic. Valentine's like, spot? let's go, let's go up to the roof. We can like hang out, probably do some other things. I don't know. I didn't ask. Neck. <laughs> I don't know. I was only 18. I but think they I wanted you to stab uh, him. <laughs> uh, the cops hadn't showed up. He would have got that wish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. All right. So that is the question okay. for Cole. Remember, audience, that is the story that you are voting on. Is Cole telling the truth? Is that about Carrie, about Jonathan? Vote along. Uh, Hannah, who's getting the next 60-second questioning? I, I would like to go... Um, I would like to go to Carrie uh, about Hello. the discovery of the abandoned building. The abandoned yes. building that wasn't so abandoned. All right. Yeah. It wasn't. Uh, 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, get set, go. Okay. Hi. Uh, Carrie, when did you discover this building? Uh, I was in high school. Uh, okay. And uh, yeah, I was in high school. Okay. Um, where was it? It was a uh, downtown San Antonio, kind of uh, like off the. Uh, it was it was it was a little bit away from the, the Riverwalk. Okay. Um, how? Why were you going into an abandoned building? Why were you investigating this abandoned building? Well, as you probably know, I did parkour when I was in high school, I and did uh, not know that. That's you, a you knew deep down. And uh, we used to go downtown and, you know, uh, run around and uh, we found what looked like uh, like an abandoned office building. And I was too scared to go in, but some of my friends did. 
and uh, they found a bunch of tents and uh, and there's nobody there at the time, but it was like clearly lived in. And then we saw some knives and we left scared, very scared. Not knives, knives again. People have knives, knives Hannah. Knives. People have knives. Think knives. about it. Carrie, did you have a knife oh. on you? <laughs> No. I'm very Honestly, nervous about what this escort's going to have. Unbelievable part of that story <laughs> is Carrie doing parkour to me. What? Wow. I'm nimble. I'm quick. I had no idea. Is this common knowledge? <laughs> I got, I got, I got some photos to show you. I, I no was vaulting. I was flipping. Has never said I'm quick. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> hey guys, I'm a quick I'm little boy. I'm a quick, I'm a quick boy. No one can catch me. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. God. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. One questioning is left, and that is for Jonathan, uh, who God. once sang karaoke with an escort. Okay. Are you ready to begin your questioning? If Jonathan says he did parkour with knives, I'm going to lose my mind. Okay. <laughs> I want that score. Yes. I'm ready. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm all right, ready. 60 seconds. Ready, get set, go. Okay. Uh, how did you meet the, how, how did you come to meet the escort? Was, um, I should, we were in Vegas. I was performing. And after okay. the show, we, we were singing karaoke with the cast of the show and she came up and sang with me. Okay. Um, when was this? What, like time? 2006 trade? to 2008. I was there with Wayne Brady doing a show in Vegas five nights a week. Oh my, that is so specific. What song did you sing? Uh, uh, the um, it's the one from Greece that's the back and forth, but I can't remember the name of it. You know what I'm talking about? The yeah, I think I do. Tell me more, tell me more. Tell me more. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Not from Greece. That's okay. Um, oh, man, uh, did did you immediately recognize? Like, did you Our know? Core who, and the baton. No. Oh, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> no, did you have a knife? Um, no, I was gonna say how how many songs did you sing together? Was it just the one? Just the one song. Just one. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't. I'm so blinded by parkour and knives now. I can't even think of any solid questions. I'm blinded by parkour and knives. Uh, <laughs> hard not to be. Hannah, hard I can, hard not to be. I can offer you a little help here, Hannah. Okay. Uh, there's a detail I like. How, I how did you it. know this person was an escort? <laughs> that that I, I was been... thought you would ask that. Can I answer that yeah. now, even though the timer's done? Yeah, I, would love to know. I thought yeah. it was a very cute girl that was hitting on me after the show. And so when the song was over, we, we came down and I was like, I was going to buy her a drink. And this much, much older, scary looking guy walked up to her and she says, I have to go work. And that's when they left and went away from the bar. And I was like, oh, crap. She's oh, no. an escort. My goodness. That was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that is uh, all of your questioning done, Hannah. So uh, audience, last chance to get your votes in right now on who was charged with a felony. Uh, while you're getting those votes in, Hannah, you've heard all the stories. Uh, is there anyone you're completely not believing? Anyone who's managing to convince you a little bit? What are you thinking going into this? I hate to put Cole in a box, but yet again, Cole is not convincing me. <laughs> <laughs> um Cole just I don't I don't see the Valentine spot confused me. Um, You're going to look like such were, a fool. Okay. <laughs> All right. You were also so adamant at the beginning of the show about a, a crim <sighs> maybe that means you are the criminal though. You were just mm, projecting. Maybe I'm really not I don't know. I can't imagine Cole even this hard and carrying face. a knife just carrying a knife period. Um right, I, I, I carry like a sword. That's exactly more sword. likely. I, I do think you would have a sword, not a knife. See, ah, I, that's stop the it. difference. Stop it, Cole. Yeah. He's proving things. It's right just now. a big knife. <laughs> a sword is a that, big knife. That's the knife I was um, carrying. Yeah. Jonathan is very convincing. It was the he had a good amount of specificity, but like not every single thing that I felt like he was making stuff up. Um, and I had I, the parkour really threw me. I know that wasn't even the point of that story. We didn't nine even foot get wall, into I can the... make it up. I think ten foot one time. What? I'll just climb wow. up it. Oh my god! Sure. Okay. Wow. I'm I'm leaning towards Jonathan, but um, I have a lot of questions for Carrie, independent right. of him finding a building. All right. Well, audience, uh, before we get the final answers here, you are now locked in for game number two. Thank you very much. Remember, two points on the line if you get this one right. So, uh, best of luck to you. Now, for Hannah, it's time to go down the line. One at a time, and have you say oh. if you think they're telling the truth or telling a lie. Starting with Cole, who was once charged with a felony. Is Cole telling the truth or telling a lie? I think Cole's lying. lying. That's the most sure answer I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I think Cole's lying. All right, lock it in. Lock it in. Lock in Cole as a liar. On to <laughs> Kerry. Discovering the abandoned building. Uh, is Kerry telling the truth or is Kerry telling a lie? I'm really torn between the last two of you. <laughs> I'm going to say Carrie's lying. Do you want to lock that in? Yes, I want to lock that in. Lock in Carrie as a liar. And then on to Jonathan. So mathematically, could still either be telling the truth or telling a lie. Um, what is Jonathan doing? Telling the truth or telling a lie? Oh, no, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I'm bad at math. <laughs> Wait, what if I just say they all lied? Can I do that? That's a possibility. That's a, I'm that is saying, a possibility. That's a weird choice on my part, but I'm going to say that. I'm saying it's a lie. <laughs> and I'm all locking right, lock it in. in. All right, lock in. Yeah, Jonathan I make no liar. sense. Well, all three are lying. <laughs> You're all liars. Lying. All liars. Uh, before we reveal who was telling the truth Whoa. and who was telling a lie, let's see what the audience thought. Who was charged with a felony? I'm a little worried about uh, this one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Forty-three percent think Kerry <laughs> was charged okay. with a felony criminal. Gary I am the softest criminal. boy. You are. You're the Why would anyone think that? <laughs> Wait. Who's the criminal here? Uh, do real well in prison. Yeah. I, no. No. <laughs> no. No. Not going to use any. I'm so confused. Hannah, let's figure out where points are going. So we're starting okay. with Cole, who you thought was telling a lie about being charged with a felony. So audience, you're hoping that she's right about this. And I can reveal Cole was telling a lie. You were correct okay. about that. Very well done. Okay. Audience, you're still in the game here. I, um, like, that, that actually happened to my yeah. brother. So I don't know why everyone's like, it's a lie. It's a lie. I was like, that actually happened to my brother. <laughs> I mean, I just yeah, took his story. Valentine's spot really. Valentine's spot. Of, Gotta be careful uh, where you're choosing those Valentine's yeah. spots. <laughs> I know. <laughs> On to Carrie, who uh, discovered an abandoned building while parkouring and all that great stuff. You thought Carrie was telling a lie. Uh, I can reveal that Carrie was telling the truth. <gasps> that was a true story from what? Carrie, the parkour artist. Carrie He's was quick. the parkour boy. Per Carrie used to be the parkour king. Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> I was more of a prince, but yeah. He's quick. He's a quick. You could have gotten me quick. just on a parkour fact. The the building I, yeah, was a I non parkour. Like I used to, me. to move quickly, <laughs> which means and now uh, now I I crawl crawl core. Wow! Stop it! Stop you! Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Okay. I'm done. My favorite design aesthetic. Park crawl with core. crawl. <laughs> uh, and then uh, that leaves Jonathan, who sang karaoke with an escort. You thought Jonathan was telling a lie. And uh, we know mathematically, Jonathan was telling a lie. So you got okay. that one correct. Uh, which means, okay. uh, so if so facto, it means the person who was charged with a felony was Jonathan, was the one. Yep. Um, so got that wrong. You're the Griffin. <laughs> so, that actually doesn't change up the scores too much. It means that uh, Hannah came away with one point for that round, and the audience got none so the audience has uh has some makeup to do they need to hope that both the audience <laughs> and hannah in this next round get it correct so the deceivers get none and then the audience can tie um i'm really excited for the post show now yeah the post show we're gonna yeah. hear about I have so all the questions stuff. yeah we're gonna hear about uh being charged with a felony we're gonna hear about cole singing karaoke with an escort um and then we'll hear a bit more from Carrie about his parkour days. So I love it. Oh, show jump change. Make sure you're first members. You can watch that. This episode of jump is brought to you by express VPN. How did you choose which internet service provider you use? The sad thing is most of us have very little choice because ISPs operate like monopolies in the regions they serve. They then use the monopoly power to take advantage of customers, data caps, streaming throttles. The list goes on. I've suffered through all of those. But worst of all, many ISPs log your internet activity and sell that data to other big tech companies or advertisers. To prevent ISPs from seeing my internet activity nowadays, I protect all of my devices with ExpressVPN. So what is ExpressVPN? It's a simple app for your computer or smartphone that encrypts all of your network data and tunnels it through a secure VPN server so that your ISP cannot see any of your activity. It's super easy to use. You just select where you want it to look like your IP is coming from. You hit a button, and that's it. 
your your ISP can't see any of your activity, you are safe. So stop handing over your personal data to ISPs and other tech giants who mine your activity and sell it off uh, to other companies. They just sell your information. Put that to a stop. Protect yourself with a VPN that I trust to keep me private online. Visit expressvpn.com slash chump. That's expressvpn.com slash chump to get three extra months free. Go to expressvpn.com slash chump right now to learn more. And now it's time to decide it all with our final game, which is called Just The Facts. In this game, we have one true fact about one of our three deceivers. However, they're all going to be pretending that this fact is about them. Hannah is going to question each of them about the fact. Up to my discretion, I'll tell her when to move on to the next person. Try to figure out who this fact is truly about. And uh, the fact in question today, I totally put it in the wrong spot. I had it up, and then I clicked off of it. Uh, <laughs> Put it up at the bottom. Put the graphic up for me, Christian and Nick. Oh, my so gosh. Can, uh, come back to it. What? Oh, I know. I remember what it was. One of our three deceivers once caused a gas explosion. A lot of, like, <laughs> crime going on. There's a on. lot of crime. Uh, one Boys, of our three am I right? Once caused a gas explosion. See, this is what happens when I get when I get distracted. I had it in my email. I got distracted. <laughs> and then the email closed. Okay. All right. Like, I can't have my email up. So, uh, which of our three deceivers actually caused the gas explosion? Audience, you are voting on this. Uh, remember, the polls will come up, and it's just buttons. But if you're on mobile, you got to write in the chat. Hashtag one for Cole. Hashtag two for Carrie. Hashtag three for Jonathan. The numbers, not the words. Uh, and good luck on guessing it. You can change your vote at any point. Hannah, who do you want to start with on this? I want to start with Jonathan. I don't think Jonathan's gone first, and I I want to hear how he would have started an explosion, a gas um, explosion. All right, that's fair uh, enough. My Whenever you're ready. I, oh yeah, my nerdy <laughs> friends and I in um, honors science class. I grew up in the South <gasps> with people with crazy, stupid stuff. So we figured that if you mixed uh, chlorine from a pool with brake fluid, it causes a chemical reaction, a flame, and chlorine gas. So we went into one of the underground sewage things that go underneath the roads. Um, not like the sewage with the, the poo is, not that one, but the runoff <laughs> sewage, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, okay. And we dumped uh, like a giant bag of chlorine uh, powder and then poured brake fluid on it, but way more than we should have. It lit up. The walls went orange. We ran out of there. We could feel chlorine gas hitting the top of our heads as we ran out from underneath the... Uh, the, the underpass where the street was. And this is not why I was uh, charged with a felony, by the way. That was going to be my question. Was this your felony? No, How old were you, not. did you say? How old were you? When uh, you so did high this? school. Uh, high would have been school? 17, okay. senior in, junior, senior in high school. Okay, high school. And what were the repercussions of this? N nothing. Nobody. We, we were so sure that because we saw all this gas coming out, chlorine gas, which turns to hydrochloric acid in your lungs, we were sure we would hurt somebody or go to jail. And it just kind of dissipated and no one said anything and we couldn't believe it. And plus, we were the good kids, so we're not used to getting caught for bad things. So it didn't happen. <laughs> So this is your coming clean. They're going to come find you now, now that they know. Come on, bring it. Come on, Alabama. <laughs> Statue of Limitation. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Alabama and it was is like, go on you, the look for those gas explosions. It we got it. And <laughs> how many of her friends? I would say there were five other. Matt, Jeff, a guy named Hui, and what? John. <laughs> My oh, friends. You're, you're, you're just begging the police yeah. now. To they're, they're like, I got their <laughs> names. I got their addresses. Yeah. If you want if you just want to throw in, maybe throw in an allegedly yeah. somewhere in there. <laughs> and right. pull up her bed and be like, finally, we busted like, you. And, We've been in sting now. operation. You're coming with me. <laughs> uh, Hannah, that's your question okay. for John. Uh, who would you wow. like to go to next? Uh, let's go to, let's go in reverse order. Let's go to Carrie. All right. Going Hello. to Carrie. Cause the gas explosion. Hannah, whenever you're ready, begin your questioning. Okay, Carrie, how how did you create this explosion? So this was not as big. Uh, I had a, a friend in uh, in middle school who had, a, we called it a ranch, but it was really just a bunch of land. Uh, okay. And we'd go out there sometimes and like spend like a, a weekend. And uh, there was some, there was some gas for the, like the four wheeler and there was a bonfire and uh, we just wanted to see what would happen. You know, if you, sure. if you combine the two. How old were you? Uh, it was a middle school, so middle school. probably like 13. 
Okay. And where was this? Uh, middle of nowhere, Texas. Was it same place you were when you were in high school? Uh, we had to drive for a little bit to get to it. Okay. But yeah, it, it was, it was, uh, yeah. Got it. And was anyone injured? Were there any, did anyone find out you guys did this? Oh yeah, they found out. Uh, we got, we got, uh, reprimanded, uh, okay. but no injuries. Uh, I think somebody, one of my friends ended up with like, uh, some, some singed eyebrows. Um, but nothing, 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 nothing real, you know, just, okay. just kids learning. <laughs> Kids learning. Kids. Just, so right, just learning. Literal you know? fuel on a fire. Yeah. Okay. It was bad. It was a bad idea. Fire. It was a very bad idea. Don't do that. Okay. Oh, All right, Hannah. That is your questioning for Carrie. You know, Carrie, it's funny. Between, you know, having you and Jack and Todd on the show, the middle of nowhere, <laughs> Texas comes up so much. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, it's, yeah. Everything happens, middle of nowhere, Texas. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So that you know, it's cold to hear why Cole caused the gas explosion. All right, Are Cole. you ready? All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Cole is. I'm ready. Go for it. All right, Cole. Was the Ferb Lord the cause of the gas explosion? <laughs> uh, he told me to do it. Yes. No, no, no. He told Ferb you Lord to do it. had okay. no involvement. Ferb Lord had no, no involvement. involvement from the Ferb Lord. Got it. How, what was, what was the uh, source? How did you create this gas explosion? Uh, so, so I actually lived on a ranch. It was a ranch. It wasn't just land that we called a ranch. But okay. we were having a 4th of July with a bonfire. Okay. So was uh, it was a gas explosion. What was the gas? Uh, gasoline. I guess I should. So, okay. So you, it, why? Go ahead. How, why did you put gasoline? It was the same kind of thing that so, Carrie talked about. You yeah, put gasoline on a fire? What it was, yeah, we wanted to see what it's like, but we had heard never dump it on it. And so we were like, put it in a styrofoam cup put a lid on, then threw it in the fire to see what would happen. Cause that way it wouldn't come back to us. Oh, that's so I, smart. Uh, try to home. I, don't don't try. I was about to say try to home kids, but I was like, no, don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try that at home. Never try that. Okay. So you put gasoline in a styrofoam cup and threw it at a fire, at a fire. Yes. And the fireworks weren't involved. It was just, it happened to be, you said for, no, we were July. setting up fireworks like, Oh, like a few yards away. Like there was people setting up fireworks and we were hanging around the bonfire and we we're like, mm, what if we, blew things up a little more we were just curious like we'd always heard like gasoline really goes off we were like well if you like take the thing and dump it in then it's gonna like travel back and get you but mm -hmm. if you take a styrofoam <laughs> cup and throw it in then it doesn't come back and get you okay and how big was the uh the gas explosion that was created it was bigger than i expected honestly <laughs> not that not, not okay. like not crazy big and we had like we had buckets of water to put out some of the stuff that like like the flare kind of like, we kind of like put it out Man, this is a premeditated explosion. Like all the yeah, the safety precautions for a very unsafe thing. You gotta love to see it. Yeah, um, is this the most uh, right. "don't do any of this at home" round ever on on Trump? <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like it is. There's there's been a lot of that this episode. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we can recommend anything that's been said no. this episode. Uh, Hannah, your questioning is now done. Um, mm -hmm. Audience, last chance to change your votes. Remember, you need to get this one right, audience. So who caused a gas explosion, Cole, Kerry, or Jonathan? Um, Hannah, what are you thinking going into the voting of this round? Um, Cole, I hate to say it, but I'm just going to continue my path of saying I don't believe you. Um, I hope I'm wrong, but I don't hope I'm wrong because I would like a point. Um, but I feel like... I, I just I'm suspect of the 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 plotting, but not plotting of it, the size of the explosion um, to me, uh, the balance is between Carrie and Jonathan, who are quite literally the opposite ends of the spectrum. One is so incredibly detailed. And I don't know why it didn't occur. I when you said gas explosion, I thought like chemical not necessarily like gasoline. Um, mm -hmm. So that was surprising. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about that. Um, so the thing that worries me about Jonathan is just how detailed it was. It's very so detailed. So once again, I, I feel like once again, we find ourselves floating between Carrie and Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Cole, I feel like yes. has been eliminated Cole, almost immediately every round. Yeah. Um, it's been fun, everyone. Had a good time. Uh, I'll catch you next time. <laughs> But before we get into it uh, and get the final vote, audience, let's lock you in, and uh, and we'll hope for the best from you, the audience, um, as we get 
our answer from Hannah. So Hannah, uh, between Carrie and Jonathan, I feel like. I mean, Cole's here too. But, no. uh, <laughs> I know I am here, whether you recognize me or here. not. <laughs> He's here. Who caused um, the gas explosion? Oh, gosh. It's... Oh, it's so hard. Jonathan's Ooh. so convincing. Really stumped her. It just sounds like something... That sounds so well planned and so well executed, and there's so many people involved. It sounds like it isn't real. Um, I'm gonna say Carrie because it just sounds like something they didn't think about and they did, and they were young boys. I don't know. And you there's less like chance in. of repercussion. Yeah, let's let's say Carrie. I'm gonna be wrong. Jonathan lock has so many Carrie. details. <laughs> so I, I did a lot of dumb shit as a kid. <laughs> I'm always on the show. I'm like, yeah, just do it. I'm yeah, wrong. You know what? What's the <laughs> worst that could happen? Um, oh, all God. right. Okay. And now, audience, let's see uh, who you voted for in this one. Let's see those votes for Cole coming <gasps> oh, in. Oh, I'm so wrong. I'm so wrong. 53% went for Jonathan on this <laughs> one. All right. Oh. So oh. I can reveal that the person... <laughs> Who actually caused a gas explosion was Cole. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It was Jonathan Mangum. It was such a fiery. That's amazing that was, both Carrie and Cole thought gasoline because I was the same with you, Hannah. I like, know, I heard and I should have used chemical. that. I should have trusted my gut that it was like a chemical thing. But this yeah, is Yeah, that makes way more sense. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I've never heard one that chemical explosion. I actually yeah. thought chemical. That's why gas threw me off when you both went for gasoline. I should have trusted my gut. Yeah, I'm, I'm not very smart. I hear gas, I think. After it happened, I would be telling the story on a thing called the internet. <laughs> That's what that, I thought. That I <laughs> <laughs> which means uh audience you got that one correct which means uh the audience gets a point for that round but the deceivers <laughs> also got a point for that round for fooling hey. hannah um nice. which means yes audience you did it you got a point in that last round but regardless but. uh at the end of this the first chump of 2021 you the audience <gasps> are going to be today's chump there it is. Oh, wham, 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 very, wham, wham, very, wham, wham. very close. Listen, it was that or a, or a joint failure. But uh, yeah. that is fine. Audience, you can come back uh, next <laughs> week. You can try again. And mm -hmm. uh, and you know what? Maybe you'll be the winner. Reminder, there are no winners. But maybe you won't There's be the no. loser. Um, <laughs> I want to say thank you again uh, to Hannah, Cole, Carrie, and Jonathan for being here for today's yeah. episode. You guys were awesome. You were all great. Thank so you much very fun. much. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes. we have a lot. Oh, parkour! Okay. There I am. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh! I sent that in live. Sent Look at that. Um, oh my gosh. But as a reminder, we are going to hear more about that as long as the uh, true stories that we missed from Jonathan and Cole and they pushing the envelope around in our post show chump change. You have to be a first member to watch it. So uh, make sure to sign up and check out that post show because I can't wait to hear those stories. We'll see you next week, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a good time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone, and welcome to 2021. Let us know in the comments who managed to fool you on this episode. And reminder, we'll be back next week, 4 p.m. Central Time, live on RTTV. We'll see you there so you can play along and not be the chump this time. Come on.